550 is your time now on this Friday morning looking nice out there again this morning. We've got light wind temperatures still in the 50s, although they're a little bit warmer. We've gone into the mid and upper 50s instead of the lower 50s we saw for many areas yesterday morning. So just a little bit more humidity in place and that's what it will do for you out and far 57 dew point at 55 and that's the big reason why these temperatures are going to continue to rise. Humidity will come into the area at full speed this afternoon with those stronger winds kicking in and we're going to see a breezy afternoon late morning and afternoon across the area. High pressure off towards the east that's going to continue to take care of us as far as keeping things quiet around here for the most part. The only thing that's not going to be quiet is the winds banging around later on this morning into the afternoon hours. That's because high pressure will be duking it out with low pressure off towards our north over the coming days and that will set up the old good old fashioned valley wind machine for today and through the weekend. So not looking for any problems today. This computer model wants to bring in a couple of little high clouds, maybe a couple of areas, a little of fog across the lower valley, but I'm not expecting that. Uh, we'll just again see a lot of sunshine. Now by this evening though, expect the clouds to finally start to work their way back in because of all the humidity we have in place and I expect a mostly cloudy sky for the start of your Saturday morning. Again, high pressure, low pressure working together and so we're going to see a series of areas of low pressure uh, systems out across the west that's going to be moving across the country and so our winds are going to stay rather strong for the better part of the next seven days. 83 Brownsville today, 73 out on the island. 85 at Harlingen and Westlaco, 86 La Jolla, McAllen, Edinburgh, and then closer to 90 degrees as you go out towards Roma. Our valley average high for the date is now up at 85, so we're in right pretty much still where we should be for this time of year. Your wellness forecast still have grass high today. Air quality is still moderate this time around because the south winds bring in some of that agricultural smoke from Mexico and the very high on your UV index means you burn in as little as 20 minutes without any sunscreen. All right, so here's the situation as has been the case for the last 40 plus years. Colorado State University, the first to put out a forecast for the hurricane season. 2024 looking to be very active. 23 tropical storms forecast, 11 hurricanes of those five becoming major. Compare that to the average of 14, 7 and 3. And then compare that to last year, which 20 storms last year was the fourth most active uh, season on record. And we're looking to surpass that this year. So again, with the El Nino coming to an end, that means the wind shear we've had is going to be disappearing as is forecast for the summer and uh, fall. And that would mean more storms. Mid and upper 80s going all the way through Sunday. Breezy to windy tomorrow. Windy conditions expected closer towards the coastal areas. We might get a little bit of a break on Sunday before they come back from Monday through Thursday. And then our next front will come through, but not until uh, early on Thursday. And that will take us out of the 90s back into the lower 80s, putting us a little bit below normal. But that's a long ways off, folks. Your Monday afternoon uh, still looking like we could see partly to mostly cloudy skies around here. I've had a little bit of an improvement on our forecast here, but not so much as you go further off towards the north.